Hey, I'm Dr. Keto. I'm a gastroenterologist and a marathon runner. Do you want to know the simple secrets to living a longer and healthier life? What exactly is longevity? I'm not just going to talk about increasing the lifespan, but I'm going to talk about increasing your health span, meaning live not only longer but healthier. It's about quality of life. Stick around because I've got some incredible tips and tricks that will make you feel like a million bucks. Number five will surprise you. Let's jump right in. All right, let's get started. How you eat, move and take care of your body and mind can add years to your life and life to your years. So let's explore how we can achieve that balance. First, let's talk about the science behind the aging process. Our cells are constantly undergoing damage and repair. Telomeres are like caps on the ends of your DNA that protect your genetic information. Every time a cell divides, these caps get a bit shorter. This shortening acts like a biological flux for your cells and your body. When they get too short, your cells can stop working properly, die or even turn into cancer cells. Short telomeres are linked to more diseases and a shorter life. But here is the good news. Your lifestyle choices can slow down this shortening. Regular exercises, a balanced diet and stress management can all contribute to longer telomeres and delay the onset of age-related diseases and potentially extend your lifespan. So making healthy choices really can make a big difference. Okay, what are the five things you can do? Let's start with number one, which is diet. Diet plays a massive role in how we age. The food you eat can either be the safest and most powerful form of medicine or the slowest form of poison. Mediterranean diet is the most powerful diet in terms of improving health and living longer. No other diet has ever shown to be more beneficial than Mediterranean diet. There are thousands of studies showing the benefits of Mediterranean diet for many years. Mediterranean diet involves eating salmon, whole grains such as quinoa, eating foods with olive oil which is healthy fat and then salads and green leafy vegetables, nuts, chickpeas, eggplant, good amount of fruits like blueberries, strawberries, etc. Pair these foods with red wine to have added benefits if you want. These foods are packed with antioxidants that fight off free radicals, keep our cells healthy and young. Blueberries are a powerhouse of antioxidants. Nuts like almonds and walnuts are great for heart health. Fatty fish like salmon is high in omega-3 fatty acids which are fantastic for brain health. And don't forget leafy greens. They are loaded with vitamins and minerals that support overall health. The number two is exercise, which is a non-negotiable if you want to live a long and healthy life. It strengthens your heart improves your circulation, boosts your mood, and helps maintain a healthy weight. Aim for at least 150 minutes of moderate exercise per week or 75 minutes per week of vigorous aerobic activity or a combination of both. Mix it up with cardio, strength training, and flexibility exercises to keep things interesting. Here are some fitness tips to keep you on track. Find an activity you love, whether it's dancing, swimming, or hiking. Make it a social event. Exercise with friends or join a class. Keep it varied to avoid boredom and to challenge different uh, muscle groups. And most importantly, listen to your body to prevent any injury. Number three is regular health screenings. These tests can catch potential issues before they become serious. Blood pressure checks, cholesterol levels, blood sugar tests, and uh, cancer screenings like mammograms, colonoscopy, pap smears, PSA test for men, all these are important. Early detection can make a huge difference in treatment and outcomes. Make sure to have an annual checkup with your healthcare provider. Now on to number four, that is stress management. Stress can take a toll on your body and mind. Chronic stress can lead to a host of health problems, including heart disease, depression, and a weakened immune system. Find stress management techniques that work for you, whether it's meditation, yoga, deep breathing, or spending time in nature and getting at least seven to nine hours of sleep. Have great relationships and socialize. All these things will help reduce stress. Now, here is the surprise. Number five is, which is the most underrated, not a well-known thing, that is gratitude. 
Gratitude is a powerful emotion that will increase your happiness, decreasing depression, and all sorts of benefits. A study published in July 2024 showed that gratitude can increase your lifespan. This study is called Nurses Health Study, which started in 1976. This is the largest study so far where almost 50,000 nurses participated in the study. Practicing gratitude among older nurses showed a whopping 9% decrease in mortality. This is a very impressive result showing that gratitude is such a positive emotion and a good psychological resource. This is not a surprising result as even some previous studies showed that gratitude can improve the endothelial, which is the lining of the blood vessels, endothelial function and it decreases the inflammatory markers in the blood and also your cholesterol. Okay, but how do you practice gratitude? Here are some examples. First one is writing on a regular basis about people or three things that one feels grateful. This is called gratitude journaling, also called the three good things exercise. The next one is grateful contemplation, where you sit quietly and remember a friend who helped you, a beautiful sunset you saw, or a meal you enjoyed, or taking some time to think about good things in your life. And the last is behavioral expression of gratitude also called gratitude visit exercise. Writing a thank you note, giving someone a hug, doing something kind for someone who helped you, visiting your teacher or friend who made a big difference in your life. Although these tips can help you maintain a healthy lifestyle, it's important to know when to see a doctor. If you have any persistent symptoms or health concerns, consult a healthcare professional. They can help you identify underlying issues and provide appropriate treatment. Thanks for tuning in. Remember, improving your longevity and health is all about making small sustainable changes. Let us start today. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more health tips and inspiration. Comment below what you liked and didn't like about this video and any other topics you want to see. Until next time, stay healthy and uh, happy.